Cool, huh? Yeah. This is how we start our talk with a nice Woody. It kind of looks a little bit like the Woody we picked up in Santa Cruz, although the motor's a little bit bigger on this one. Technically, it's smaller, but it's a little bit bigger. Make sense? I'm not sure what year this is. Got a wheel on the back. Yeah, very cool. Uh, okay, we are in. There it is. Okay. Uh, welcome to Art Talk number 21, Thursday. From a hero, Mori, you are the first person in today. Where are you from? That sounds like a Japanese name. Are you from Japan? Are you in Japan? Are you thinking about Japan? I don't know. Cindy, good morning, Cindy. From Minden, Nevada. See, I got it. I got this. I know where you're from. Um, uh, the, the joke is, look behind you. Uh, no, I'm not really there. Good morning, Pat. Uh, Pat Nickel. Um, uh, I saw your art, Pat. Stuff looks good. Very cool. Great photography. Very excited about that. Uh, Stan Curtis, thanks for coming and joining us here on Art Talk, episode 21. Uh, this is Thursday, uh, and and I am in Malibu, California. I am Fireball, and... Uh, this is our, our, our daily, during the week, uh, Doug Harrison, good morning, uh, our daily do the, during the week uh, art talk that only happens during the weekdays uh, at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, unless you're on the East Coast or you're in Japan, somewhere else, don't know, don't know where you are. Uh, Dave Siliker, uh, that's a newbie. Good morning, Dave. Uh, I don't know if I've seen you here before. Welcome to Art Talk. I'm Fireball, and uh, we're going to be talking about some cool stuff. In, in, in just a couple of couple of minutes here, uh, uh, as you uh, as you may know, uh, this is live. Unless you're watching it on YouTube later on, this is live. You guys can interact with each other. You can ask me questions. Uh, you can um, uh, have have some ice cream if you want with your coffee. You can do whatever you want because we're we're basically sitting around as a group. Uh, just happen to be across the planet enjoying ourselves. I uh, uh, have a uh, glass of water with me today. Looks like vodka in a glass. It's not, though. Mm. Good stuff. And uh, so interact. Uh, if you see uh, a friend of yours, say hi. You know, enjoy yourself. Uh, today we're going for about maybe 15 minutes or so, and we talk about some really good stuff, some helpful stuff, because the whole point of Art Talk is to help you guys expand your creative self uh, as a, a creative person, as a creative being, which we are. We are beings that create. We, we do shit. We create stuff. You know, it, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, Pat is a uh, photographer, and she creates uh, uh, amazing photographs with her with her camera, and shoots cars. Uh, Donna Phillips, good morning, and uh, and I create coloring books like um, well, they're all, all over the place. Coloring books like this. I know it's backwards, but this is our Malibu coloring book. One hundred percent of proceeds goes to the Woolsey Fire. You know, so you know that's my 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 business is Fireball Publishing, and we create the world's best automotive and sea life coloring books. Just saying, that's what it is. Uh, you know, I get to work with my wife every day. We get to have a good time. We get to call, go to car shows, do all kinds of neat stuff. So, uh, when you if you buy this book, it doesn't come backwards. It's not Ubalam. It doesn't not called Ubalam. It's called Malibu. Yeah, just want to be clear about that. Uh, and on our talk, if, if you are a, a, a builder or a, a business owner, if you're a construction worker, I don't care what it is that you are. Good morning, Donna Phillips. How are you? Um, Wes Nielsen's in the house. Very cool. Uh, whatever it is that you're into, uh, it's a creative process. If you build business plans, if you're an angel investor, if, you're, if you have a car museum, if you're a photographer, it doesn't matter what it is that you are, you're creating stuff. That's what we do. Uh, there was someone out there that created this little Hot Wheels. You know, he creates that. Maybe maybe Larry Wood. I don't know. Uh, the The point of that is to to do what we love and to love what we do and to create things that we love and to be able to share that with the world. And Art Talk is about that. We're going to help you guys to uh, stay on point and to be able to create. Uh, Alyssa Jackson said, got one? Yeah, you got a full-size Woody or you got this one? Which one do you got? because this one's a little cheaper. Mm -hmm. You can get quite a few of those. Uh, if you didn't see the last vlog, uh, Derek Bilzing, good morning. Uh, Fumihiro says bookseller. Uh, those books are available, if you're asking about my books, the coloring books are available on Amazon. Just type in Fireball Coloring Books, and they're, they're all over the place. We got like 20 books out. We got 10 books coming this year. Kathy's working on the history of surfing. I'm working on my Porsche book. E has, I'm not even going to say that backwards, whatever that is. Um, 
I'm good. How are you? Of course, I'm spectacular. It's Thursday. Uh, not that Thursday isn't any better day than any other day, but I choose for it to be awesome. And that's going to segue into our into our subject for today. You guys ready? You ready for this? Uh, the subject is um, the difference between what you want and what you expect. Huh? Huh? Think about that for a second. What you want and what you expect are two very different things. And people act many times. Uh, Elisa said, I bought two on Amazon, Malibu for me, car book for Bobby. Very nice. Thank you, Elisa. Just so you know that uh, proceeds, 10% of proceeds for the Malibu book. No, Malibu book, 100% of proceeds goes to Woolsey Fire Relief. Any other books you buy, 10% of proceeds goes to either um, Ocean Conservancy or Dog Rescue. Yeah, that's cool. Little pups. So um, the difference between what you want and what you expect, um, expectations plus actions equal creation, okay? And what I mean by that is that when you have a, a want, something that you want to do in your life, yet you uh, don't expect that thing to happen, then uh, they have a conflict going on in your mind between your conscious and your subconscious. The door is open. The door is open. That means something good is coming in. What is that? It's green. It's green. It's green. Mm -hmm. My juice of the day. What is it? Cucumber celery, apple, pineapple, and spinach. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh, and a little superfood. Oh, that's got a kick. <laughs> oh, the first sip is always the, the hardest one. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome. Delicious fresh juice in the morning. She's a master. Okay, I'm going to put that next to my water. One more sip. That's got a kick to it. Mmm. My mouth isn't green, is it? No, no. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, back to expectations and actions. Um, here's a good example. Uh, uh, think about this. Uh, which, how many of you guys would like to win the lottery? Hmm? Any of you would want to win the lottery? Uh, and that leads to the question, how many of you have actually bought a ticket for the lottery in the last week or so? And if you have not bought a ticket, but you would like to win the lottery, then that's a good example of something that you want, but you really don't expect to happen, to, it to happen, right? And you, you justify in your mind, well, there's millions of other people that, that uh, are doing this, and, you know, I'm not going to ever really win. I would like to win, but I'm not, you know, that kind of thing. So you guys get, get where I'm going with this. Um, your wants don't line up with your expectations. And this is where uh, we, we work a subconscious process, is that in our, in our minds we're on autopilot and we think about, uh, well, um, I'm gonna call him but he would just say no. You know, there's lots of things that we address in our life that, you know, things that we want, we wanna make more money, we wanna uh, have the right husband or wife, uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, yet we expect them to, you know, those things to not necessarily work out. Um, and uh, so because we expect them not to work out, our actions start to reflect that expectation as opposed to what it is that we want. So instead of a subconscious process, I want to teach you guys to have a conscious process. And the conscious process is to, to ask yourself, uh, you know, not only what do I want, but how do I, how do I main, maintain that level of consciousness for today? You know, what can I do that is going to uh, keep me conscious? And... You know, many people attribute their future uh, success based on their past. And, uh, you know, things like, well, he was a jerk the last time I called him, so he's going to be a jerk when I call him again. Uh, those kinds of things are unrealistic expectations. Those are expectations because your future hasn't been written yet. It can be anything you want, anything at all. Uh, there is no, it's an a la carte menu, and all you have to do is close your eyes and visualize what it is that you want, and then begin to take actions towards that goal. But if you have expectations that it's not going to happen, you're going to start to take conflicting actions, actions that support the fact that it's not going to happen. Okay, does this make sense? Because this is how it works. This is the process by which success comes in any in any realm. If you go into a... a um, uh, if a football team goes into play and they really expect to lose because the team is is so much better, they're going to justify in their mind, and therefore their actions is they're not going to work that hard to get what it is that they want. Okay, uh, John Barrios Navas, thank you for joining us today. Who else we got in the house? We got Dave Buchanan, very cool. Fumahiro says no pink. I don't know what that means. Jan Hog Nielsen, did I say that right? 
Okay. You guys are talking good. Interact. Very awesome for today. So that's kind of um, what I want you guys to think about today. Um, you know, you, you want to change your expectations. You want to change your expectations based, based on what you want, not attaching it to any past uh, situations, any past occurrences or experiences. It doesn't matter what's happened yesterday. All that matters is what you want and the steps that you need to take to achieve them today. Okay, a very simple process. So simple you can teach this to a child. Not so easy to do. Okay, because it requires you to stay conscious throughout the day. It, re it requires you uh, to command a level of men mental thoughts, mental processes that keeps you aware of what it is that you're thinking about. So you want to snap to grid, as they say in the, in the, in the, on the computers. Snap to grid, boom, boom. Got to go right back to remember to remember, as Buddha said. You got to remember to go back to, to what it is that you want and stay on point. And that's how you, you stay focused and uh, with persistence and determination and faith, you work towards your goal, okay? So that's really... All I have to tell you guys today, I, you know, most of these concepts, I don't have to talk for an hour on it. You know, I mean, I could, but the point is that these things are really simple and you can just apply them today. Okay, so get out there today and have uh, um, expectations that put a smile on your face. If you think about something that makes you feel good and you're excited about it and you're positive, you're going to work towards that thing gleefully. You're going to work towards that thing with a, a smile on your face. Uh, if there's something that you're you're not looking forward to, like the end of the day, like something you got to do, like you had a parent-teacher conference because your kid's being a pain in the ass somewhere in some school, and you expect, oh, something bad's going to happen. You know, that's a choice. You don't have to have that expectation. You can have the expe expectation that things are going to work out just fine. In fact, they're going to work out spectacular because suddenly I'm going to realize that the teacher was an old friend of mine. Not only an old friend of mine, but I haven't seen him in 50 years, and suddenly I'm going to fall in love with that person and going to have you know, well, you can get creative. You can think of anything you want, you know. You can say that he owns a Woody and he's going to give it to me. Yeah. Anything can happen. Anything at all. You're creative beings. You can come up with anything that is that you want in in your a la carte menu, okay? So that's what we'll work on today, okay? That's all I got for you today. Uh, I'm doing a Cadillac swap. I got the CT6 that uh, I've been driving this week. Uh, it's uh, going out. Another Cadillac is coming in. I don't know which one it is. So uh, let me see. I'll make sure you guys are... Uh, Jeff Justine Estine, S thanks for watching. Um, so the Cadillac's being swapped. We're going to be having that on the vlog. The next vlog that's coming, which is tomorrow, that's going to be the second half of what we did at uh, at Santa Cruz, which was very cool. We brought that Woody, the vintage trailers. We brought all that stuff back. And uh, and then we're going to get into the uh, what I'm driving with, the Cadillac. So the next few episodes. This weekend, this weekend is uh, Saturday at the Murphy Museum. I'm having an artist meeting with all the artists that are that are coming into the Fireball Gallery for the May 11th show. We're going to have a meeting there at 11 o'clock. If you want to meet those artists, you can come by, swing by, check them out. It's going to be awesome. Uh, then Sunday is Ventura Cars and Coffee. I was told it's Thompson and Maine at the Coffee Bean. If you guys want to join us there, uh, we're going to be driving some cool cars from the Murphy. We're going to be bringing them up to Ventura Cars and Coffee, hanging out with you guys, okay? Enjoying ourselves. Josh, good morning. Uh, good to see you, my friend. Uh, so you guys enjoy the day and uh, uh, it is what you make it. I'm not screwing around. I'm not, this is not like a saying. It is what you make it. You decide, you put it out there, what it is that you want and you stick to your guns. Don't go on based on your expectations. Go based on what you want. Okay, what I want is coolness. Okay, tomorrow's Friday. I'll be back. We'll see you then.